Welcome back to the Georgia Tech Aquatic Center. I'm Rob Butcher, here with three-time Olympic gold medalist Rowdy Gaines. Rowdy, we just heard another Masters national record go. That's that's 30 already today, I think. Yeah, it's unbelievable, Rob. One after another seems to be dropping. And, and what I think is really amazing is it's being done by the top of the world Olympians, but it's also being done by regular people, and it, it's just unbelievable to see these great swimmers come in and do, su do such a wonderful job. I'm, I'm right off the bad. I mean, I think of guys like Dave Sims, who was an 80 Olympian along with me, doing such a good job in the 200 freestyle. And then all the way up to current Olympian, Mark Gangloff, who just destroyed that record in the 50-yard breaststroke. So it's been a lot of fun. And I, I think another real common theme is this is a family. I've said it all day long. I mean, when you look around old and young and uh, all kinds of body shapes, it's been so much fun watching so many people swim fast. It has been, and most people think of the Masters Nationals here as just records, but it's not. It's much more than that. We've had moms that are here racing. We've had people overcoming obstacles and challenges. We've had people that are uh, recently get back in the water in order to lose weight and be motivated by that in order to swim. We've had Olympians here that are swimming. Why don't we take a look now at just a few of those stories from earlier today? Uh, certainly I like to race, I like to come to meets, um, to race and to see other people that I really don't see other than at meets. Ultimately it's about fitness I think and it's swimming's my form of exercise. I love being in the water. Uh, Masters is about everybody and everyone has their own goals and expectations and uh, certainly there's room for everyone. I think the people that get the biggest cheers are the ones who are just in there and finish their race You know when they stick to it. We've been swimming against each other for a long time and uh... You know, I, I think he'll admit, you know, having a little adrenaline flow, and, and we're good for each other. There's no way I would have gone 143 today unless this guy was next to me. I love to race. I've uh, been in shape one thing, but uh, it's kind of like having knowledge. If you don't apply it to something, it doesn't much matter. So uh, There's a special bond among swimmers, whether you're a master swimmer or a you know, regular USA swimmer. I mean, it's, there's a bond for all of us, and it's a small world. It's a small family. The people that are here, you know, I can probably represent 1% of all the Masters swimmers. The vast majority is people just in it for the fitness and the recreation and camaraderie, which is what I like about it too. I do it for my health because I know it's important. And it's the only sport I've ever been any good at. And I do enjoy the competition. Uh, it's good for the ego. Uh, so I, and I, and I love the camaraderie. I really love coming to the Nationals. Um, to me personally, it means a lot because I've lost about 35 pounds since I started swimming again 18 months ago. I took 16 years off after college and I got back in because I was really, really fat from having kids. Initially I got back in just to lose weight and I entered my first meet about six weeks after getting in and I liked it so it's come back really fast and, and I love it. Now my husband's swimming. It was a great race. Uh, I don't really know much about the 50 breaststroke. I don't ever get to race at short course. So for me, it was like I just I had I didn't really have a lot of expectations going in. I knew I could uh, wear the you know high tech suits and have have some fun. So for me, it means you know time to see old friends and to be able to swim in a swim meet with my wife. You know that, that's something special that I've never got to do. She was a diver through college, so I always watched her compete and dive. But uh, you know she swims for fitness and. To be able to come here and be in the same meet as her, uh, that, that was a highlight for me. Walking around the pool deck here at the meet, you know, everybody's friendly, everybody's shaking hands and talking. And it's a great, you know, competitive, uh, exciting, you know, supportive atmosphere. Oh, it's a way of life. Uh, this is, I think it keeps us healthy, keeps us alive, and it's where swimming has progressed to. And I think it's uh, become bigger and better. It's very important to me. Swimming really is the kind of the center of my life. It's a very important part. Uh, it's the social part. It's where I met my wife. She's also a master's coach. But to have something to look forward to, like a national championships and go, you know, I could compete, you know, that's fun. Oh, it's great. A wonderful facility. I'm really having a great time. It's, it's a lot of fun. I always love to go to these meets. It's like, it's my vacations. <laughs> and I love Atlanta. It's just uh, an incredible, activity for anybody. doesn't matter if you're fast or slow, it's just great for everyone. Um, I had detached retinas as a kid and I was very athletic uh, and the doctor suggested non-contact sports. I settled on swimming and did it through high school and college and now into Masters. 
In fact, this is my second time at this pool. I was here in 1996 in the Paralympic Games. And it's a great sport for, for someone who's visually impaired uh, because a lot of it's done by feel. You know, most people, when they get in the water, they're doing it by feel. You know, I just enjoy it. It's my thing. And uh, it's, it's, you know, you just keep doing what's in front of you. And that this is, that's, I'm here today. That's how I got here. Rowdy, those are some wonderful stories, and as you can see, we're still going here with the relays. Unbelievable, and, and the relays are so much fun. I think a lot of people really look forward to it, and tomorrow's going to be just as good, if not better. A lot more people are going to be here. If you think about some of the events, the Hunter Freestyle, we've got the Hunter Breaststroke, a lot of great events. Relays, I'm on a relay tomorrow myself, got a couple events, so I'm really looking forward to the next couple days. It's going to be a lot of fun. So be sure to stay tuned to USMS.org where we have our Twitter account being updated daily, our Facebook account being updated, our YouTube account, and you can certainly subscribe there for all the latest and greatest within U.S. Masters Swimming.